Bulotti, Bulitti, Bulotti, Tef 6686, shortwave radio. Often in the comments, people will say, Fred, we like these products that are coming in from China these days. We like the value. What if we spend just a little bit more? Is there anything that's slightly better? Maybe a nicer case, feels better in the hands. Well, I think that's what I've found here. I have been looking for something that feels a little bit more commercialized, a bit more like a premium product. This one comes in at below $80, it's about $76, 57, 58 pounds. So it's not super expensive, but it's not on the ultra budget side of things. And it does have a very, very nice all alloy casework. It feels really nice in the hand. It, it has a textured finish to it as well. And obviously on a cold day, when you pick it up, it's nice and cold in your hand. So much better than some of those generic, sometimes 3D printed cases that we've often seen on the channel. Also the box open experience is actually really nice with this radio and it has an exceptionally good instruction booklet. All other manufacturers should take note, has color pictures as well. And it's also available in a larger format on a PDF. So you can look at it on a tablet screen. Really, really good. Others should take note. Also the box is nice, you've got foam inserts, there's a decent uh, antenna. It also comes with a little wipe so you can clean the screen. So yeah, attention to detail in the point of sale is much improved with this product. So it's a TEF 6686. We've seen all this before, uh, the chip that was originally developed for the automotive industry. So it's absolutely excels on FM performance. You won't find, I don't think, a more sensitive chip that will work on FM. Um, these things pull in dozens of stations, even weak stations come in really, really strong. It has been adapted to work on shortwave. Unfortunately, you don't get the upper and lower sideband, so you can't hear the handbands. You do need to use the SI4732 chip for that. Airband as well, uh, the 6686 just doesn't work on airband, but then again, you need a fast scanner like that one there if you really want to listen to aircraft. Let's have a closer look on the bench. Firstly, you've got to say the layout on the radio. I like it, it's very simple, it's very honest. Plenty of buttons and they feel quite nice to press as well. The screen, absolutely sharp on this one, 2.8 inch. Any lines or moye effect is purely because it's interfering with the refresh on the shutter speed on the camera. Comes with a large 5000 mAh battery so plenty of runtime dimensions if you're interested, 120 millimeters that way, 88 high and 30 millimeters wide. So just go quickly through the stats on this. FM, it does have the DX band, so 65 to 108 megahertz. Medium wave, you've got your two tuning bands, um, you've got the nine kilohertz step rate, so that's 522 to 1791, so it goes quite high. And then you've got the 10 kilohertz step rate, 520 to 1720. Long wave, 144 to 513. And these do normally work really well on long wave. Short wave, 1700 to kilohertz to 27 megahertz. Just falls under the CB band, unfortunately. No air band, of course, they don't work on so a air very band. quick look around the radio. It does have some interesting features. This side, earphone jack at the top also has a low noise amplifier and a little LED there to let you know that you switched on the amplifier not seen that before on a TEF radio and USB charge LED as well and then a power on switch with a LED USB C of course for that battery not much on the back just gives you the radio frequencies that it will uh, tune to on this side now this is good, they've got this right. So we have a tuning pot for the VFO, on off and in volume. Most important issue. What's the... And then the squelch control, which these radios do seem to come with a squelch control, I suppose because it's FM, that has got a separate little dial wheel there. Let's have a quick listen to the sound of this speaker because I don't know if it's the enclosure 
but it does sound pretty uh, nice. To do it without the manifesto breach, given the choice between the two, um, I didn't want to breach the manifesto, and that's why we came to the decisions um, that we did. Um, on the question about welfare, look, I do think. Um, some harsh realities. Uh, is anybody under the impression that Glasner's going to spend his entire career at Crystal Palace? Not his entire career. Right, but it's a From a holiday accommodation in Cornwall. There's nothing worse than you go away and it's being down. Uh, I must add that it is totally normal birthday and in no way a significant... ...per the, you know, the specification. It's disgusting. All this started in February, and we're now in December. Oh, it's just that. You know, keep the positive uh, mindset. So I think that's how they survive. Yeah, and you also talk about it being a film about cultural secrecy amongst women across the generation. I think the music is wonderfully done. Uh, our music director Simon is uh, top of the top of the range. Uh, people. He applies to about twenty percent of the rationale for the budget last week for last week's budget. I mean, I, I don't... volume control works a little bit funny. It, it works in reverse. You you turn it anti-clockwise for up and clockwise for down. Now to pick up LBC in the shack up here with all of the lights is a testament to how well this radio tunes done really really well there some radios just get loads of interference up here uh, that one cut through all of that and i would say it probably picked it over a dozen stations on fm very very good so like all of these touchscreen radios loads and loads of options here in the menu just touch different parts of the screen for example this brings up all of your FM settings, uh, audio settings. You can also change the display. Again, very good little feature on these radios. It comes with this uh, monochrome screen, which I actually think really works, but if you don't like that, very easy to change it. Yeah, there's about eight or so options here. I think Essence um, was probably one of the default screens, I think. Let's, uh, let's go back. So that's added a little bit more colour to the screen, and you can play with those themes to your heart's content. Now, of course, all around the outside of the screen, it is all touch screen. So at the moment, we're showing the RDS information, the channel there, the uh, what type of music they're playing, and you've got all the signal meters at the bottom. You can tune by RDS. Just click on the RDS information. It will go to the next RDS channel. There we go. That should, be, that should be picking up some RDS in a moment. There it is. So yeah, so you can tune via RDS. Also, this is um, touchscreen as well. So you've got EQs in here. You can switch the EQ off, on and off. It does have that LNA low noise amplifier. I, I like to see that on a switch. It's just unusual. You got it on a switch. You switch that on and off there. The LED comes on to let you know you've got the low noise amplifier active. What your toddler is actually saying when they say, I hate you. A lot of these posts, if you look carefully, don't reference the science that they are apparently communicating. So you can't check it out, which is frustrating. Parents have become these sitting ducks for clickbait pseudoscience. Appealing, quick fixes. <laughs> Uh, so what, what does that mean? If you think about the global climate system as a structured sort of system, and the Arctic used to be uh, acting more like an anti-structure. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So when the air is more water vapor, what does that mean? That means why the protect comes up. But now it's uh, 
we're talking about the directly measuring the central Arctic. So, uh, what we are really seeing is that uh, what happens in the Arctic doesn't stay in the Arctic. It keeps directly. Soundcloud. Wir danken für Ihre Aufmerksamkeit und sagen nun auf Wiederhören. This is the overture that opened the show and was her big salute to her royal patron. Goes quite loud. So there it is, really, the Bulotti Tef radio. I like it. I do like it. I'd like. I like this case. It feels a lot more premium than a lot of the other radios that we've reviewed. The Tef chip works so well on FM and even good on the shortwave band. I think the 4732 has the edge, obviously, because it's got upper and lower, lower side band. The controls, again, are very nice. That These pots, they look a little bit industrial. They don't look anything special, but they've got a real nice feel to them. And even when you twiddle them really, really fast, they don't appear to miss or go backwards like some, some some of these radios do. And the sound quality of the little speaker, once we get used to the fact that the volume control works in reverse, really nice. Goes loud. So I think if you're after a TEF radio for less than 60 pounds, and you want something that's a little bit more premium, I don't think you'll be disappointed with this. I would certainly think this gets on the uh, the higher level of test ra TEF radios that I've reviewed on the channel. So there you go, there it is. This one was sent in from Banggood, so thanks to them. As always, I do get a small little discount code on Banggood. It will be postage free to the UK anyway, because it's over 50 pounds, so you get a few quid off. I apologize, as always, if my code doesn't work in your country, I have no control over that, and also your postage costs. I know some of you get quoted high postage costs from China. Again, I don't know why, can't do nothing uh, with that. So there it is. Thank you very much for tuning into my channel. I do appreciate uh, every view. There's the thumb from Freddie in the Shed. If you get a minute and you'd like to, please give me a thumbs up down below. Helps me, helps the channel. Finally, as always, just look after each other, yeah? Stay warm, stay safe. Catch you on the next video. Cheers, guys. Fred's in the shed where the magic unfolds. Fred in the shed with his trusty CB. He's a friend to the lonely on a frequency.